Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action. Then press Ctrl Y to create one solid background layer and hit OK and let's lock this layer. Then I'm going to select my ellipse tool and by holding shift I am going to create one ellipse. Then deselect this layer. Then select this layer and press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Now select this and let's try to adjust the position. Select this, hit Ctrl D. Let's move this over here and I'm going to increase the size by holding Shift like this. Then hit Ctrl D, move this over here. Let's decrease the size of it. Then hit Ctrl D, move this over here and let's increase our size a little bit. Now we want alternate colors, so I'm going to choose somewhere around like bluish over here then for this one i am going to select like this then over here we are going to choose like purple okay so these are going to be my color combinations let's select all of these four layers i am going to go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for wiggle as you guys can see then you will get this wiggle position select all of them and simply double click to apply then in wiggle amount options instead of 50 i am going to choose 70 and if you hit play by spacebar you will get this kind of continuous animation okay so this is our ellipse animation so let's lock them then i'm going to select my text tool over here font i'm going to choose oswald but you can choose any font you want and i'm going to choose semi bold version of it then i'm going to type my first text over here like this then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this then make sure that it should be inside this box over here or even little bit smaller than that then select this layer hit ctrl d select the second layer go to the character option i'm going to delete this fill and i'll choose stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose 0.1 press s for scaling option and scale it like this and bring this downwards okay then press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 50 so we will get something like this okay so this is for this and now uh, we will start our uh, animation portion so hit uh, let's uh, uh, unlock all of them and select all of these layers press ctrl shift c to make this pre comp and i'm going to name it as creative okay uh, we don't need that dash over here so this is going to be my creative comp and simply hit ok like this then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and by holding shift i'm going to create one rectangle like this then uh, select this rectangle double click to create this mask and like this so basically we have created this mask on this layer if you don't know how to do that let's do that again all you need to do simply select this layer make sure that you are selecting and then select this rectangle and by holding shift we will create rectangle like this so basically it will create mask then press v for selection tool double click on this mask and try to adjust the position properly at the center okay so this is this then select this creative hit ctrl d select this second one and over here on mask you will get this option known as inverted so simply click on it so if you see over here we have this one which is covering the portion which is inside this mask and if you select the second layer as you guys can see it's covering uh, entire ma uh, thing which is not in the mask because uh, if you press m we have inverted mask over here okay so this is the basic concept simply uh, select this and i mean uh, unhide this uh, and then press f4 uh, so we can see these options and i'm going to click on this option for the second one and select this layer and press y for pan behind tool like this and by holding control i'll snap this anchor point at this edge like this then i'm going to select this layer and i'm going to convert it into 3d then uh, go to the two seconds over here 
uh, like this press r for rotation and we need to rotate it on y axis so i'll create one keyframe at y rotation then zoom out a little bit let's go to around four second and let's make this y rotation minus 90 okay select those keyframes and hit f9 okay so if you see this animation you will get something like this okay then after that right click new and create one or uh, we don't need to do that over here uh, i think this much looks good if you see you will get this kind of animation then after that uh, what we need to do over here i'll select this creative layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply like this and let's make this uh, softness 100 and distance 10 opacity 30 like this so we will get this kind of drop shadow effect okay now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and we will name it as one and hit ok like this okay so now from three uh, over here i'll press s for scaling option create one keyframe zoom in a little bit then go somewhere around let's say 4.20 and let's increase the size until it's going to you know, go through this entire stuff and select this and make don't forget to click on this icon over here so we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 over here like this or uh, you can go over here also let's say like this animation is starting from two so you can move this keyframe over here also so uh, you will get something like this but this is not how we want that but we will fix that let's select those keyframes we will go to the graph editor i'm going to select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and i'm gonna move this handle over here so we will get something like this okay and let's go to around 2.20 frames and i'm going to move this keyframe over here like this okay now i'm going to select this one and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's select this and let's go to around two seconds and i'm going to select this and i'll move this handle over here like this so if you see we have this thing at the background and it will start to animate somewhere around over here also so now what we will do over here i'm going to select this two and let's go somewhere around at this point over here and i'm going to select this and i'll make it apparent with this one so what will happen let's see along with that you will get this stuff over here but if you see properly over here we are getting this drop shadow effect so let's go inside this select this uh, and let's uh, de delete this drop shadow effect for now and let's see what we will get we will get something like this okay so we want this this only and hit u again and now because this thing is started at two seconds so i'm going to select this i'll hit ctrl d then i'll go to around four seconds and i'll select this and uh, let's go to the this point over here and let's uh, delete this parenting we don't want anything to parent with this one let's go to around four second i'll select this and i'll move this over here hit u select this and hit u also like this then go to around over here i'm going to select this one and we will make it apparent with this first one okay like this so you know, if you see this animation from the start we will get something like this then we will get this animation then this animation and then this animation again and again we will do that procedure so let's go somewhere around over here let's say let's select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it like this and let's uh, enable this layer so we can see properly this is our layer and now let's uh, unlink this parenting now select this layer and hit u and because we have uh, started this animation from 4 so we need to go over here and start this animation from 6 so i'll move this over here okay like this and now i'll again i'll go to this keyframe over here i'll select this and i'll make it apparent with this third one so if i go to two seconds hit b let's go and play this animation 
like this okay so let's go to the start and as you guys can see initially it should be like this or let's go over here let's say at this point hit b like this so this frame and this frame should be pair equally equal to each other so let's go over here and at this point as you guys can see we have this half portion over here so uh, at final frame also which means somewhere around over here this thing should be with uh, over here so hit page down button few times and as you guys can see from four to eight frames we are will i get the loop so let's go over here and hit n over here so if you see this animation now we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of looping text animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned